it should look relatively juicy and, and that's partly because of the fig nectar that the fig produces it, it produces its own nectar um, and sometimes I can refer to that as honey and you can find that honey or syrup it comes in different consistencies right you may think it's like an agave nectar you may think it's like a syrup you may think it's like a honey that's more thick and depending on that consistency you'll see it actually within the fig the middle of the fig is the void and that's where a lot of that honey or nectar can pool and you'll actually see it the most in there glistening and it really does taste like honey or different forms of honey uh, different forms of sugar you know you may get some brown sugar uh, flavors you may get some agave flavors you may get some lighter honey flavor maybe not as dark you may get some uh, some syrupy flavors you know it really does depend on the variety and that's what's so cool about these figs is that they they taste very different um, also we have here the color which you guys saw the color it's it's a reddish color and actually towards the bottom it's getting a bit purple very dark red almost black um, figs will range in color from you know basically from a, a white actually some figs are white in the, in the interior all the way to like a very dark purple um, almost black on some of them so depending on the color on the interior not the exterior the exterior color has nothing to do with the flavor uh, the pulp is where all the flavor comes from for the most part you can have a different flavor from the skin and I actually eat the skin on, unlike some people who uh, who peel the skin off but the interior color is really what determines the flavor just like in other fruits or let's use raspberries as an example so there's different colored raspberries there's yellow raspberries there's pink raspberries there's red raspberries purple black um, each of them has a different intensity of raspberry flavor so the yellow ones and the pink ones are a lot sweeter less acidic less of that raspberry punch then you go towards the purple and the black raspberries and they're very acidic very tart more of that raspberry flavor so you can kind of imagine the differences here in the fig is that you end up getting some figs that um, have lighter colors or darker colors the lighter colors are usually uh, you know really well correlated to things like melon flavors um, honey flavors sugary flavors the darker flavors the darker colors are usually associated with things like berries so raspberries and blackberries and strawberries um, all kinds of different berries that you guys probably have never thought of now as the fig ripens longer and longer it actually gets uh, a dried fruit flavor so you'll end up having something like a raisin or a dried fig or a date a lot of that flavor is then present you may even find it in like really well aged uh, red wines you'll find some of that date like flavor in them um, and that to me is like one of the best flavors within figs so you got to try to achieve that I also find that flavor in persimmons quite often especially the uh, astringent types the American types they really get that date like uh, flavor to them so th that's why for me this fit this particular fruit is so impressive is that it has a wide variability in flavor and flavor and um, even just different flavors of sugar you know there's the sugar that has a wide variability to it there's the interior color which then has a wide variability of flavors there's a wide variability in the level of ripeness which then relates to the dried fruit flavors as I mentioned so there's a lot of dimensions to this there's a lot of complexity to these things and even the skin can have their own flavor so it's really quite uh, incredible and impressive of a fruit which is why I kind of you know I'm so passionate about this